former flight attendant and host of The Jet Set, Bobby Lori. Bobby Lori. Bobby Lori. Travel expert, Bobby Lori. Bobby Lori. Bobby Lori. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do this. Bobby, when is the right time to ask to switch seats? Three days before your flight. 72 hours. Yes, go on, go on the airline's website or on the app. That's when the airline starts upgrading all their frequent flyers from coach to business and business to first. They usually have access to the best seats on the plane, so when they move, those seats are now available and you can pick them. Three days. All right. Three days. Yeah. Gosh, thank thanks. You. Do, I, do I do this whole interview without getting peanuts or a pillow? Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any on me. I'm a passenger. <laughs> I know, and I'm just failing at in-flight service right now. I've seen this used for everything as an ottoman with bare feet on it. And I've also seen babies being changed on the tray table. Oh, I know. Now can you imagine eating that pasta you were just told to enjoy <laughs> off of this? I'm here at the HMS host test bar with my friends Thor and Carson. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for having us today. So one of the first things I think of when I travel is Bloody Mary. And I hear you make a mean Bloody Mary. We can, absolutely. I'll get going on that for you right now. All right, thank you. And while he's making that, I have to ask you, you can find different beverages at airports all around the country. From the staple Bloody Marys to what else? Well, I'll tell you what's really trending these days in airport bars and restaurants from an adult beverage perspective. One is craft beer. The bags that the coffee are loaded in are very thin and they burst often. So now if you're at home and your coffee maker, you know, has a malfunction and the coffee bursts, where do you clean it? The kitchen sink. Yeah. On an airplane, what do you have? Ooh. The bathroom. Oh no. Okay, it's not, oh, no. not, not a pretty sight. Are you looking for a way to explore Europe without having to worry about catching trains or driving town to town? The answer is taking a Viking River cruise. Travel in comfort and style and arrive fresh and ready to explore. I had the chance to check out just what it's like on Viking's newest river ship, the Hill. Take a look. When you set sail on a Viking River cruise, you can expect luxury. The time to sit back and take in the sights, enjoy some of the ship's amenities, at your leisure of course, and relax. So now we have Zonks <laughs> and Wayne Brady coming your way as we rejoin my backstage pass to Let's Make a Deal. Check it out. Did you win the booby prize, otherwise known as the Zonk? Well, they're custom built for the show right here on the lot. It's like me and Tom Hanks and Big. I get to play with toys all day. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I try to build stuff that Wayne can play with because if he can play with it, he's going to jump into it, run around, and uh, drive it. You know, you've been, you've been all over the world. <clears throat> What's one destination that's stuck in your mind that you just have to go back to? You can never get enough of, of Italy. When you go on the road, what don't you leave home without? Aftershave. Really? Now, I want to take you way back for a minute. Okay. Way back about 20 years ago. All right. Back to the Drew Carey Show. All right. you, you made travel history. That's you nice. were the first ever American sitcom to film in China. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mimi, uh, Mimi wanted to get me back for something, so she drugged me, put me in a box, and sent me to China. I want to do that with some people too. The Big Ben Bell in the British Parliament's famous clock tower ceased ringing at noon on August 21st. Don't worry though, it'll only be silent for the next four years while renovations are carried out. When people get so angry about this, what, can they do anything? There actually is some things to do, but first and foremost, it's really to be informed. You know, when you book an airline ticket, there's a lot of terms and conditions that you are agreeing to that you, a lot of people just click the agree button and hit next. And I do. I, I mean, everybody does. Our insider says being nice Good, can you? be the Good secret morning. to great service. Good morning, Flight attendants do recognize that and they do take note of who you are and you usually have that kindness returned by way of free food, free drinks, maybe even an upgrade.